Hello, I'm Brian Doherty with the Oklahoma City Community Foundation. I'm the director of the Parks and Public Space Initiative. Over the last 25 years, the Community Foundation has been very involved in planting trees in parks and neighborhoods and public spaces all around Oklahoma City. And you know, uh, you know we're always looking at how do we put the best sustainable trees in, the diversification into the parks and public space, how can we make this investment really go for the next 50, 7,500 years? With today's technology and the uh, satellite imagery and Google Earth, we're able to do things with tree inventories they couldn't have done 50, 25 years ago. So in 2016, we worked with the Oklahoma Forestry Services, Oklahoma City Community Foundation and City of Oklahoma City, and we put together with Davy Resources a tree inventory of every tree in the 132 parks. So we have 19,800 trees where about 20 data points were taken off each tree, the height, its species, its size, its condition. This all really is a proactive approach to what the future can be. So what we are able to do is we know how many Schumert oaks are there. We know how they're performing. We know about the bald cypress. We know which ones. And as Riley had talked about with emerald ash borer possibly coming, we also can identify things like the ash and know where more susceptible varieties are. So with this, it goes into a database. Every time the park does trimming, they need to remove a tree, they need to do uh, any kind of maintenance, the database then updates the inventory every day. If we get ready to add, like we've just added 800 trees along the river, those trees then are all added into the database. We know where they are, we know what they are, we know and we can really track that. This is gonna be incredibly important for the new MAPS 4 coming up where they're talking about going into every park and you turn around, you have this kind of database available so we know what is existing, we know what kind of trees are existing. I think, you know, to take it to the next level, 2019, we had always wanted to, how can we also move into the neighborhood, the greater Oklahoma City area, and many cities are starting to do this, so we were able to do a tree canopy assessment different, we don't go back to every single tree, but they're able to analyze whole blocks, whole areas. So it's around 580 square miles that we were able to do the imagery. With these two products, we can really look, and, and we were learning a lot of things. Western Soapberry really performs well along a lot of our trails. We have a lot of our oaks, our blackjacks and, uh, and post oaks probably have a lot more value than what some people had ever given them credit. And so when they're working with, whether they're working with stormwater control, whether they're working with other environmental issues, whether you're looking at quality of life, whether you're looking at economic benefits, trees are a big part of it. And so the more we were able to stay on the proactive side, we're able to sit there and really plan for the future. We're not the only city doing this, Tulsa's doing this, many cities around the country, different ones are doing them in different ways, but it's really taking what we've known for a long time, if we know what kind of trees are gonna grow, we know that, then we're able to plan better, but it's taking it to a whole new level with the technology that's available today. On the tree canopy study, you know, it's, it's a whole new level of sophistication when you're taking this many square miles and you're looking from, from south of Norman to north of Edmond, you're taking from Yukon and Mustang on and including all of Tinker Air Force Base, but with the Association of Central Oklahoma Governments, ACOG, they had a lot of the LIDAR data. Forestry had a lot of data they were able to, and when we needed to turn around and find our 300 spots in inventory, they had the ability to do the check and balance on that. And then the Community Foundation working to all of us in partnership with Davey, that's what makes something work. And I think it's this private, public, public partnership that really does it. And now it's available for everyone to use. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussions.